Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel, we are going to be testing out a new foundation from Origins called the Pretty and Bloom Foundation. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and I hope you would click that subscribe button right down below. Some key things about me and my skin. I am 46 years old. I have combination oily skin tone, and I have pigmentation, redness, and texture to my skin. I saw this come across in Sephora's suggestions. I was like, I haven't used Origins in years. I was big into Origins when I was pregnant because it was an all natural skincare at the time that I could use that wasn't gonna cause issues with pregnancy. And I had really good results. There was a mineral powder foundation I used of theirs. I liked that as well. It wasn't something that I kept up with. As we know, I'm always trying different things. So it wasn't one that I was like, I need to always have this. So when I saw this come across as a suggestion that it was new at Sephora for me, I knew I had to give it a try and see how it went. So I am super excited to try this out. So some of the key things that really jumped out to me about this was that it is a radiant finish which is good for all skin types that doesn't always happen with a radiant finish foundation it is supposed to be a naturally radiant one that lasts for up to 24 hours now we will be testing this throughout 10 hours during the day i will also be doing swatches and show you what this looks like but first let's jump into actually applying this product together all right let's get this started i have not used an origins project project product in years. This is the Origins Pretty in Bloom Flower Based Long Wear Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 20 in the color 410 Medium Cool. I'll tell you, Origins used to be like my thing. Oh, it's a small packaging, I will say. So here's hoping. It looks a little bit more. Oh, doesn't usually these things have stickers over them, don't they? I'm not sure about this color. We will see. Half of my face with the brush, half of it with the sponge. Color. I don't know. Maybe it's not bad. It blends with my neck. That's the key thing. My face is just so much lighter than my neck. This dries down pretty fast, guys. I'm kind of shocked at how fast this is drying down. It has a pretty finish to it. It's nothing too crazy. It's not a ton, a ton, a ton of coverage, but it's got coverage to it. It's just not like a full coverage. It doesn't feel like it actually is pretty nice so far. Let's see how it does with the sponge now. Typically, I'm a sponge girl. But I will say lately, the ones I've been testing out, I've been actually liking better with the brush. I don't know though. This one I think I like with the sponge. It just seems to be applying better. Smoother would be even easier. Yep, this one is a sponge one for me. The sponge is just performing better. It looks nicer. It gives a more even look to it. This is nice guys. I'm kind of impressed with this. Back in the day, I used to use their mineral foundation and I loved it. This looks pretty guys, not bad. Let's look at a before and after. Alright guys, so right after I have put this foundation on, this is what it looks like. I've applied the rest of my makeup. I like this. Not the right color. It definitely has too much yellow undertone to it. It is raining out today, so I'm not going to be able to show you outside, but I will show you everything but that. It just has too much yellow golden undertone for my skin. It actually also, I tried to build up right through here. It's a little patchy looking right through here. And usually that happens to me throughout the day, not what I start with. So I'm very interested to see how this plays out throughout the day. Let's talk swatches. So I am swatching this against the one foundation I have here with me that is a closest color match that I really like. This is the Osmosis Performance Skin Foundation in Natural Medium. And interestingly enough, this is slightly very, 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 very slightly yellow on me. You can see right here how much more golden slash yellow undertone the Origins has to it. This is the Origins Pretty in Bloom SPF 20 in the color 410 Medium Cool. I would not consider this a cool undertone. 
I think this is very yellow, very golden undertone. Let's take a look at it outside as well in natural light. Taking a look at the swatches out in natural daylight, the osmosis is kind of actually settling down to be a brown the same color. This one definitely still has more of a peach undertone, whereas you can see this one has a more golden undertone. All right, guys, first things first is we have natural daylight here, two big skylights on either side of me. It does look a little orangey yellow, but not like fake self tanner, just like the color's a little bit off. Let's see how it does in a photo. Looks a little bit oily across the forehead. It could be the way the sun is hitting it, but realistically, it's not very much flashback, not very much reflection to it. It looks very natural. Now we're gonna go take a photo in a little bit darker of area of the hallway. Okay, guys, back in the hallway, gonna take a look at it. Let's see how this flashes back. This has a little bit more flashback in the darker area, which is interesting. Typically that doesn't happen much for me, but definitely in the T-zone across the front of the cheeks, uh, definitely has a little bit of flashback to it. So I'm interested to go outside and see if the coloring is very much visible outside that it's off. All right, guys, we are outside. There's not very much direct sunlight. It has been raining all day, as you can probably see behind me. It is very wet back here, but it is cloudy and it's at least showing us out here what this may look like in a cloudy day. So here's hoping, but I have a feeling if it doesn't look good inside, typically it won't look good out here. Okay, guys, let's talk five hour check-in. It's okay. I'm not it's the color is slightly off. I could totally make this work, but it's slightly off in comparison to the ones that look the best on me. The coverage is okay. I would say it's starting to get a little bit patchy looking, which is interesting because it's supposed to have all these flower extracts and all this stuff. It definitely is getting patchy through here and in through my like jawline. Funny part is, is my most areas that break down quickest are usually right through here. And I don't see any breaking down. I was blowing my nose. I don't see any issues with that. I'm seeing it across my cheekbones. I have no blush on even today. Crossed here on my jawline and then up through my whole forehead, honestly. Usually it's like from here up and this is even in through here, a little bit even through here. And it's not like breaking down, like separating. It just looks patchy. It's interesting. So I'm interested to see how this does at 10 hours. 10 hours. So we are at 10 hours now. And surprisingly, I feel like it looks better now than it did at the five hour mark. Not even sure how that could be possible. Maybe it was just like being more active at that time that it kind of separated while I was doing things. It has broken down very slightly on either side of my nose. This is still slightly patchy looking. It's not broken down, it just looks patchy, which may have been an application thing. It kind of settled in over the time, but the color, I went online, I looked at the colors, and I don't think that there's a color that will match me better than this. So I do think this is the best color that they have available. I wish for a cool tone, it had more of a pink undertone to it. I will be able to use this in the summertime. That is no problem at all, because in the summertime I'm actually darker, I have more color to me. It did settle in nicely. It is a medium coverage in the summertime. I don't feel like I need as full of a coverage. I think it actually looks pretty now, funny as that is. I might try applying it a little bit differently. I will say that the spot that I'm seeing the blotchiness is the side I use the sponge on. So I wonder if I used in this area a brush because I don't see that happening on this side. If maybe that possibly could make a difference with it when I use it the next time. I mean, overall, I think it's a decent product. Do I think it's like, wow, oh my gosh, you guys have to go check this out. No, not quite. So let's look at a side by side and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. So now let's talk about this. I think they pack a lot of punch into this little packaging. Like there's not a lot of wasteful packaging with it. I do like Origins as a brand itself. I think it's a good brand. I like that they are a clean product. The reason I also think this will be good is there's not a whole lot of things in here that I feel like would clog up my pores. And in the summertime, that's super important to me. I think it's decent. Do I think it's like, yes, you need this? No. Are there better items out there? Yes. But for a quick 
throw it on, let's go somewhere, get something done. I just want a quick coverage with a little bit of something to it that I don't have to do like foundation and powders and all of this. I think this worked great for that. Today I have on very minimal makeup as you saw. I did set it with a powder as I always do and I did use a setting spray. But I think overall this is a decent product. If you are looking for a clean item, I like it. This, in comparison to like the Bite Beauty Change Maker, which is another clean for Sephora item that I had tested out, this is 10 times better than that. This did not settle on me. It didn't look cakey. It didn't look heavy. That Bite Change Maker did not work on me. So if that didn't work for you, this might be a great option. So those are all of my thoughts for the Origin Perfect, no, Pretty in Bloom SPF 20 in the color Medium Cool. If you guys have any questions on anything I spoke about here, please put a comment down below. As always, I do do updates over on my Instagram, so if you are interested you can go check out my Instagram and follow along there as well. If you are not yet subscribed, I would love if you click the little red button down below and followed along here on my channel. As always, I will post two additional wear test videos up here if you are interested in seeing something similar to this. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.